Yeah, Grandpappy, yeah. Well, I know he scares you. I know, you know, you don't like their kind and everything, but I don't really think that's a good reason to condemn him. He's done some good things, um, but, he, you know, his kind hasn't really done anything bad by me, except a couple of times they've come to my house and knocked on my door while I'm watching wrestling. That kind of sucks. No, Grandpa, I don't have to vote for what you tell me to vote for. I know his kind scares you, but I gotta vote for me. Carl's gonna vote for him, you're gonna vote for you. You know, I gotta vote for me. Well, Grandpappy, you know, I gotta go. I got all shaved and dressed up to go vote. I'll talk to y'all later, okay? Bye. Hey, Steve, what's that, Carl? I was just in Earl's room checking out what Hillary Clinton's up to. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you know, for a 65-year-old lady, she's one of the hottest ladies in politics. <laughs> I'll drink to that. Heck, yeah. <laughs> She's almost as hot as that kind of Langa's rice. I'll drink to that. I also like that Michelle Obama too. Yeah, Michelle Obama is one sexy chick. I'll drink to that. So you ready to vote there, Carl? Sure, I'll vote. Uh, I vote Bud Light. <laughs> no, you idiot, not the king of beers. By the way, it's Budweiser. Are you ready to vote for the president? Oh yeah, I got my ballot right here in my pocket. This could be the most important election in our lifetime. It is our right as American citizens to vote in this here election. Mm -hmm. I'll drink to that. It is really an important election year. You know, these are some tough times. I'm thinking if we uh, use some of Reaganomics and some of his issues back in the 80s, we might be able to fix this deficit. Are you crazy, Steve? We don't need no Reaganomics. You know, Ronald Reagan raised taxes 11 times and raised the debt ceiling 17 times. That crazy talk there. That's not the kind of president that we need in office to take care of our economic situation. Hey, we need to go and vote before 6 p.m. today. It's our civic American duty. Who, who was that there on the phone, Steve? Oh, that was Grandpappy on the phone. He just can't bring himself to vote for a Mormon. Doesn't like their kind. Well, well yeah, that, their kind does kind of scare me. I mean, they are a little scary and all. But I don't think that's enough to base your vote on, religion and everything. I mean, what I think we really need is a bipartisan leader who is willing to work with both sides of the aisle to make sure that our economic crisis is taken care of and the situation is handled properly. I'll drink to that. We also need some good foreign policy and a strong military leader in the in the office. Well, I'll drink to that. You know, Steve, foreign policy is very important, but I think the most important thing for our country is job creation and also cultivating sustainable energy so that we can reduce our dependence on fossil fuels. I'll drink to that, Carl. Under Obama's administration, unemployment has dropped below 8%, and agencies are taking a noticeable impact on green technologies. Well, I'll drink to that, Steve. Hey. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm getting pretty drunk. Yeah, me too. <clears throat> Several hours later! Wake up! What? What? What's what, what, what going on? Here's that five bucks. What, what's this for? Your guy won. Obama's president again. What do you mean Obama won? We haven't even voted yet. The polls ain't closed. Actually, if you actually knew, you'd know that they actually are, so yeah. What, what, what time is it? The election was yesterday, you idiot. You mean like we got drunk and passed out and forgot to go vote? It certainly appears so. Oh man, I, I feel slightly less American right now. Man, Carl, I feel like we just pissed on the American flag. Betsy Ross is just rolling her grave right now, I bet. We're some bitches.
Well, there's always four years from now. Well, that's true, I'll drink to that. I'll drink to that too. <laughs> four years from now. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, that five bucks is mine. Told you Obama was gonna win. Oh damn. Why would you bet Sally Sue that Obama would win and then me, he wouldn't? Well, it, I figured if I bet both ways that somehow I would still get the five bucks. And I did. Just sucks that I gotta give it to you. Hey, Carl. You know you're an idiot? Yeah, I know. I'll drink to that. Four more years of Obama, huh? I'm not sure how to handle that, Steve. Oh! That's for voting for Mitt Romney. It doesn't count, though. I never turned in the ballot. Oh. <laughs> Suck my balls.